There we go. <laughs> it was just home stuff that you got. Duvet cover, towels. You know, I mean, that's still something to be amped about. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like, it's such an old lady thing in my life at this point, but I'm not even worried about it. It's just, I just love decorating my house and having new fun things that, like, change up what's going on in the same, you know, I mean, I, especially in the age of COVID, being home even more than I used to be. Red mullet? I want a red mullet. Probably not the kind that George wants me to deliver, though. That sounds like a fish. <laughs> What are we gonna make for dinner tonight? I don't know, but would you like a sweet pea? Oh, goodness, are you sure? Oh, yeah. Hi, Elliot. Love you. If you wanna make friends with Willie, you can't go wrong with sea cucumber. Uh, what were we gonna buy from him? Another bou bouquet for when I decide I'm no longer mad at Penny. <laughs> and we should get a, we should get a, we should get a tree. Let's get a tree. Here's the thing, I don't remember everything we planted. I know we have an apricot and a peach tree, and I think we planted a pomegranate tree. I don't know if we planted an apple tree. So I know we have we have uh, uh, b -b -b apricot and peach, pomegranate, and I think there might be an apple tree growing. So I think we should get an orange tree. Or maybe a cherry tree. Let's just get both. Okay. Okay. Do we have anything else for anybody who's in here? I don't think so. Oh, the knitting stuff was the one you're not even gonna try to get back. That's right, because the <laughs> because the delivery company was absolutely outrageous. I cannot believe that in the age of the year of our Lord, 2021 companies still have the audacity to be like, no, we have no, we refuse to get in contact with you in any way, shape or form. And, uh, also fuck yourself. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no, we're just going to show up at your house and, uh, uh, well, your, uh, your, your buzzer's broken. So, you know, get wrecked nerd. Guess you're just never getting your shit. Great. Who would have thought I'd find trash in the trash can? Not me. Not this girl. Aw, made him happy. That's awesome. Want to watch a TV with me? Wow! Oh, <laughs> that actually makes me really happy because he doesn't really like people and he never talks to anybody, especially new people. And he decided that he wanted us to watch TV with him. That's really nice. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Where's our horse? There she is. You know, and I forgot I wanted to get a salad while we were in here. A couple, even. Because we haven't been giving gifts to our dearest Leah, and I want her to know that I love her. <laughs> yeah, the buzzer on your building being broken, like, I like I understand from a logistical standpoint. I'm not that ignorant, but, like, <laughs> like I understand how that could be difficult. But, like, first of all, there are ways around that. Second of all, like, for it, it to make it so that they literally are just like, no, there's no other way for us to contact you. It's like, well, what, what? Uh, okay, I don't, I'm not comfortable with you commenting on my body shape. <laughs> um, I don't know. It, it just seems weird for a company to like, not even, I, not even make the attempt. Like, yeah, we'll send a text message. Like, it's like I said to you earlier, like, oh yeah, no, we don't allow any of our drivers to have phones, sorry. Like, what? Bro, just call the number on the order. I don't understand. Why are we even having this conversation? <laughs> uh, who else? Dearest Abigail, would you like a snack? <laughs> She's so damn cute. Here's Demetrius. Demetrius, would you like a sweet pea? Boop. Very interesting specimen. Excuse me. It's <laughs> a lot of sweet peas this uh this summer. I'll take it. Anything or anyone up over here? I don't think so. Just some more sweet peas. Nice sweet pea. Think I'll take it. Mm-hmm. 
It was Maru. We don't have anything for her right now, though. I guess we could give her- No, I have gifts that I know that she really likes. There's no point in giving her a- Hi, Penny. Great, glad you like it. Look, I'll ask you to be my GF simply because I want to get this out of my inventory. Great, bye. <laughs> no, like, don't lie. You don't want to- You don't feel the same way. You don't want to get more serious because you literally told me my life was sad. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> what else? Uh, Leah. We're looking for Leah and Sam. Oh, I wonder if Robin would like a sweet pea. Cool. What's up? You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know? Thanks, Robin! Wow, that's really nice. <laughs> Dude, I know! Thank you! Thank you. I literally was genuinely, like, actually irritated at a video game character. <laughs> I genuinely was like, wow, what a bitch. <laughs> I would not want to date you after that. That would be like a very clear, oh, okay, I guess me and this person aren't going to work out. Exactly. I, that's literally Sarah. Thank you. I was like, you know, it, isn't it better to be like more confident about whether or not you want to have kids than it is to just have the default be to have kids? Like she literally is the prime example of someone who probably wasn't really ready to have a kid and just went for it. And now, you know, like she complains not even complains, like, because it's not like it's not like a negative thing. She talks about it all the time, though, throughout her story in this game about her relationship with her mom, and it's like, yeah, maybe, maybe you should have a little bit more kindness in your heart for someone who is telling you, no, I, I, I don't think I would, I would want to do that. I think I would be, I don't, I'd be too bogged down. Like, <laughs> rude. But that's none of my business. Frog and teacup emoji. <laughs> Deforestation in the name of a farm. <laughs> I guess at least I plant trees again, though. Juicy take, Savannah. Do you think Lewis is actually Penny's dad and that's why he and Marnie have to keep it a secret? Could you imagine? I mean, this is a pretty small town. <laughs> I feel like everybody had to have boned everyone else in their general age range at some point, probably. <laughs> it's like 10 people here. <laughs> it's like the prime, prime recipe for drama. <laughs> taking all these trees with me. Oh, we haven't gone to that little area, that little secret wooden area. Let's go to that. I mean, we know Caroline and the wizard. Well, I mean, we know. We've been new. <laughs> let's go down and around. You know what? While we're here, let's buy a hat. We got money. We got money to burn. Good evening. Um, I want this cowgirl hat. <laughs> See, I keep, I want to buy everything just to have it. And it's like, literally, why would I do that? What's the point? It just clogs up my inventory and then makes me mad. Surely Jody as a military wife had to be getting something on the side too. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> That's so funny. I mean, we would have heard it from Vincent by now. Vincent totally just fucking exposed Sam and Penny. He was like, Miss Penny, is that why... Sam was picking you up and putting you into a tree the other day? 
she was like, oh, don't gossip. I'm like, well, he doesn't know that's gossip because he's fucking five or whatever and <laughs> thinks that that was a normal, nice, innocent thing. You can put clothes and shit in the dresser in your house now. What? Do we have a dresser currently? Do I have to get one? Does it come with an upgrade? Because that's fantastic news. Let me out. Let me out of here. Um, we spent too much time out here. I think I have to just go home instead of going to that area by the wizard. <laughs> 30, 11, 20. No, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> we have a horse. Don't fucking touch my horse. Fiddlehead Fern, thank you very much. Alright, OCD, sorry, we're not gonna be able to get everything in here, like always. Let's just go. Let's just go. Time to go home. We got some supplies and that's good. Doesn't have to clear out the whole thing. It's fine. And you can put like rings and shit in there too. Oh my god. Yeah, that is incredibly handy. Man, they really, uh, god, Concerned Ape really has like a finger on the pulse of what people want in this game, I feel like. I feel like every update has just an endless amount of useful shit. You know what, let's go. I don't want to lose our... I don't want to pass out. Uh, pass out on my own damn farm. Literally just pick up the cheese tomorrow. It's no big deal. Uh, sell that. We have a lot of these. Let's just sell them. Uh, boop, boop. Oh no, that was why I bought that beer. Was specifically to sell it. All right, we'll empty the rest of our pockets. Manana. Boom, there you have it. All right, what's going on today? Ooh, it's raining. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Um. Here's the thing. Let me check. Let me check the fortune. We got to start planning some days to go to the desert. Somewhat mildly perturbed. Not a good day to go to the desert. I guess we could just go to the mines here. Not really that big of a deal. An old recipe for pumpkin soup. Thanks, Robin. Oh, I feel like she's really like welcomed us to be part of a family, and I just like I actually feel very, very heartfelt about that. <laughs> Why did I do that? How did that happen? Nice. Oh yeah, we need to bring our scythe down here. Oh, our inventory's full. Whoops. Just plant some more of these bad boys. It's already the 26th, but fuck it. <laughs> no, do not eat radish. Yeah, I'll double check on the dresser thing. I didn't see it just now, but I didn't walk around my house looking for it, so I should definitely go check. Give me some of them. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I hate when that happens since they stack on different piles when they're different quality. It's like, I already have three other stacks of peppers. Just add it to that. That's fine. <laughs> I literally wouldn't even know the difference. We'll empty our pockets out here. 
What do we got? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Still gotta plant something in that little pot. <laughs> Planting another mahogany tree. Even though I'm pretty sure the one that we planted like two seasons ago is still growing. <laughs> there it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's so cute a little. Okay, so let's not let's not have a panic attack over this, but I have to fucking plant trees right now, and I I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, problem. Just be calm, you know? You know? It's nothing. No big deal. I'm not, just, I'm not even worried about it. I'm not even thinking about it. Not even... Not even a concept, you know? Oh god. That's probably fine, right? Are those in the same spot? It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not even worried about it. Are you? Because I'm not. Mushrooms. <laughs> Thank you, Savannah. <laughs> okay. Oh, where did we leave poor Pashmina? I feel like we abandoned her. Or did we ever even take her out? <laughs> Need that for a minute. We put some stuff away. And that. And you know what? Just cause. What else? What else? What else? What else? We have a million for Haley, which is good. So we got. We can give this to Vincent. To Harvey, um, Sebastian, Leah, I'll put one of those away, Sam, and then just people that we see. Um, the Fiddlehead Fern. I sold one of those last night, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Oh, maybe not. Did I sell one just now? And it just hasn't shown up yet because it's not overnight? Alright, I'll just sell that one, just in case. Right? Am I blind? Do I be dumb? Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> oh, and you know what, though? Uh, let's make a couple of these. And we'll sell some of those. And that amethyst, we're going to put back in here because we have room for it again. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, where do we have some of that row? Here we do. There we go. Maybe we should just go back to the regular the regular mines today. We do need more gold. bring a little meal with us. Nothing nothing wild, but Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> and we'll put our little accessories in here. Is there anything that I am keeping in here that I really don't need to? This can go with gifts because I know Elliot likes that. <sighs> 
mini fridge that'll come in handy later. I think that's good for now. I feel okay about that. Spring, fall, summer, we're not using it though. Oh, okay. Doesn't the stuff in the greenhouse grows year round, doesn't it? Why don't I just do that? I'm just gonna go put it in the greenhouse. Yeah, no. Why wouldn't I? Boom. Here you go. Now oh, let's clean up some stuff with our little scythe. Did we even say hi to our barn and coop animals yet? I don't think so. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing my best in the greenhouse. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. I specifically just want to do strawberries and coffee and whatever extra seeds we have at any point in time. So I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just winging it. <laughs> oh, more seeds. You know, I'm going to save those, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Those mixed seeds that I just picked up, because that's going to be very... I know there's certain um, recipes that require those, and it's already the end of the season, so nothing's going to grow if I plant them anyway. It's not going to grow in time. So, we should just save them. So I will. How about that? Seven. Is Marnie open? Let's go buy a pig. Some of these trees just aren't going to grow because they're too close to another tree, right? So quit crowding my jam. in the way. There you go. And this is what we really had the scythe for. There we go. And our fucking pockets are full, of course. <laughs> Alright, don't move. Don't go anywhere. Oh, and the mushrooms. Okay. And you are not going to grow, so just get out of there. Here we go. Put that away, put that away. These as well. And our cloth. Put this in there. Two different kinds of wheat, but that's okay. It's just temporary. Just want to make sure we have items when we need them. And that's just kind of me organizing it for now. <laughs> that's how it's going to be for now until we get everything a little bit more aligned. Which is fine. I'm fine with it. Are you fine with it? I'm fine with it. that away for now. Let's try not to clog my my inventory too much. Alright, let's see if we can catch Marnie. Hi, Jess. 
I like living on the farm. My favorite is the fresh ice cream from our cow's milk. Hell yeah, that sounds pleasant. Do you like these? Oh, good. Okay, good. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. Now, is this all we can have? How many animals can we have in here? Snella. What should we name our pig? What should we name our pig? Brubba. Frappo. Congus. Done. <laughs> I'll send a little Congus who's no home right away. That sounds like bullshit. That sounds like I made that up to be annoying. <laughs> okay, alright. I'll get. It. What, what should I name this one? Pombi! Okay, <laughs> what should I name this one? Tell me some ideas, chat. What are you thinking? Renano. Ray Renano. <laughs> Because Cungus finds fungus. Oh, that's brilliant. Numbus? Cungus? Numbus? <laughs> Grortly? Sure. You know, your typical traditional family names. You feeling Numbus? I'll go. I'll do Numbus. <laughs> Sneeders! <laughs> Alright, we're going with Numbus. <laughs> Cunvis and Numbus. <laughs> this is awful. All right. <laughs> Great, I'll send little Numbus to her new home right away. All right. Good for you guys. Here you go, Marnie. Incredible. Truly incredible. So my new, um, my new current hyperfixation as far as music goes is Chromio. Um, I've been listening to the same album for days. Uh, I, do I ever get lonely on that big farm? Honestly, no, but I do like socialization. I'm so sorry, Sarah. <laughs> I'm so sorry you have to <laughs> deal with these these names of all of my farm animals. I know they're literally the opposite of anything you would ever... Oh, Leah cutscene. Porky is a cute name. Next one we get, we might go with Porky. And then we got chops for one of our lambs, and I'm happy about that. Or our sheep, rather. Hi, Peach. I knew you'd be passing through here today. So I put together a surprise. Aw, why is everybody having picnics in the rain? <laughs> it's a little picnic for us. Leah, I'm in love with you. Please marry me. This is a vegetable medley with my special spice blend. What kind of special are we talking? Like, should I consult a doctor? Or This is a fresh salad. Aw. What a sweetie! Peach, um... Made from stuff that she just forged herself. I love her. I just want to say thank you for helping me get one step closer to becoming a real artist. Oh, look, she's blushing. Leah, my love. Oh, yay! Distant voice. Well, 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 what have we here? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. It's the shitty ex. Kel? What the heck are you doing here? I found your online art store. Weren't you wondering about the Mr. K who kept buying all your sculptures? You're Mr. K? I, I thought it was just a rich guy who truly loved my art. Well, you were half right. Look, Leah, I want you back. I miss you, babe. 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 <laughs> Ew, don't call me that. <laughs> you never supported my art before. Now that I've had some success, you want me back? You make me sick. Hey, come here. I'll fucking talk to her like that. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'll kick your ass. Um, okay, I have to be reasonable. I have to. I I want to punch him. I really, really do. Um, mm, <laughs> I'm not fully aware of our... Uh, fighting skills as a farmer <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know you know and is that really necessary is that really fair to leah either fuck being reasonable <laughs> we function solely off of emotion here <laughs> i feel like it would be upsetting for leah i want to punch this person i really do uh i'm gonna reason with them ah Therapy. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. Get out of my way. Don't actually get out of the way. What the fuck is... What? Seriously, Leah, what are you doing out here with this simple-minded bumpkin? 
You know what? You're right. We are just in the middle of nowhere, so. Peach is a better person than you would ever respect. Did she just punch him? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Now get out of here and never come back. Leah, be my wife. Let's go, Peach. I don't think Kel will be bothering us anymore. Literally marry me. I love you. <laughs> Let's find a more secluded spot this time. Ooh, okay. I love her. Leah, I love you. <laughs> Elliot who? <laughs> I've decided I'm in love with Leah now. <laughs> Good for Leah. I'm happy for her. Let's go clear out that other, uh, that other crab pot. The one that we never go to. <laughs> boom boom. I'm gonna ride my horse to the mines even though I could take the mine carts because I just don't feel right leaving her out in the rain. <laughs> Plus, can we, uh, can we get into Harvey's place right now? I know it closes at three, doesn't it? But if we're dating him, can we just go in? No. Okay. Would he by chance be in here? Does not look like it. No. Okay. Alright, off we go. Enjoy your picnic, fucking nerd. <laughs> I'm glad that we didn't we didn't punch Kel, but uh also I kind of wish we did. I just I've been in such a fighty mood lately. Like, I mean and when I say lately, I mean for like the past several months or more. <laughs> I'm just so Oh a frog. Can I do so oh I wanna catch it. Um It's like my response to everything recently. I just have just it's got a lot of pent-up emotions, you know? <laughs> There's so gotta do something about it. <laughs> Alright, sorry, Pajmini. You gotta wait out here. Ditto, I think it's just COVID frustration. You know? I think you're on to something, my friend. I'm not getting enough physical activity, so maybe I just want to fight people. <laughs> Also just frustrated with people in general. I went to uh I went to that burrito place again in uh in Falcon that I love so much. Um that's been there since I was in high school. And uh whenever I go there, um, because it's fucking Falcon, Colorado, middle of nowhere, um, just everything you would expect from a, a tiny southern Colorado town. Um, nobody wears any masks. So I just drive up and there's just a ton of people walking around the shopping center. Because now it's much more populated. It's because it's like more, uh, even though it's a bumblefuck town still, it's a lot more residential areas have been built and gated communities, etc. So just a bunch of entitled, rich, hillbilly assholes <laughs> who are just getting everybody else sick. It's like all the all the stores say, like all the, all the you know, storefronts have signs on them and, you know, county mandate, etc, etc masks required, but, like, they don't care. They don't care. Hey, Jacob! Quarantine do got me ready to throw hands. I am not even 